Okay, so we're back with Let's Play Grandia 2. Last time we just finished off our first battle, and uh, so we're going to continue on. There's a huge treasure chest here. It's guarded by a spider. Uh, wound Salve has already said it's a good healing item. Hand Grenade is an uh, attack item. Yomi's Elixir will revive a fallen partner, if I remember correctly. So that's nice to have, even though we don't have the party at this point. We've got another battle with initiative, so let's uh, combo this fool. Okay, uh, yeah, he's just gonna get off an attack here. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of HP for this point in the game, where basically it's almost impossible to die at this point. If you somehow manage to find a way to die in the beginning areas, then uh, you're a lot more talented than I am, so. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna be exiting this opening forest here and move on to Carbo Village, which is our first village of the game, obviously. <laughs> like, you needed me to tell you that. And over there is that uh, group that we saw in the opening scene. I know what they are, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. So uh, apparently they're all going somewhere, and Elena's not allowed to tag along for the ceremony. So, looks like they're going to be off. Okay, just leave already. You, you've said you're going to leave like five times now. And I think she knows when the church service is going to be. So they've hired a bodyguard, huh? And well, we were hired as a bodyguard, so maybe they're talking about us. And notice how long our shadows are. Uh, that's another result of those uh, PS3, PS2 on PS3 graphics. So this guy's gonna walk up to us and give us a little introduction. Well, I don't know this guy. They're talking about a bodyguard, and we're supposed to be a bodyguard. Storm through your door and beat charity out of you. Yeah, that's just another example of Rito not thinking very highly of the church. So yeah, they are the sisters of Granis. They're basically all uh, songstresses, and they're uh, they're going there to seal evil spirits, or so we're told. Yeah, and Elena is a good singer. You'll see here in a little bit. And as most classic RPG things don't venture around at night, there's evil monsters out at night. Okay, so first off, I'm going to stop by the general store, buy a few healing items. We don't have enough money to really buy anything good yet. They sell uh, two weapons for me, Fox and the Shamshear. It's better off to just save up for the, sh the Shamshear if you're going to do that. Sell some armor, sell some jewelry, but we're in here for the items. Let's buy a... Uh, you can either just buy one or buy a times five. So, we'll buy two times five of those. We'll buy ten of those. We'll buy a few more of these. It's like a, basically a full heal at this point. We've already got... Uh, actually, I'm going to buy another one of these. And let's buy one of each of these, too. Just go ahead and, you know, be prepared for the future and end up with four gold. So let's leave. Yeah, and uh, this guy over here will give you tutorials about battle, which I don't need because I know how to fight, so I'm not going to waste your time with that. And over here we've got the inn, which uh, is in inns are really nice in this game. You don't have to pay for them. You don't have to do anything. You can just recover, and there you go. You don't have to sit through a scene or anything. It's really nice. All right, let's uh, let's talk to some people. Let's see what they got to say. Someone here. Well, uh, yeah. Some of that cretin like you could never understand. Oh, jeez. Judgmental much? With the powers of darkness, something bad is supposed to happen. Well, t if nothing bad happened, this wouldn't be a game, right? As long as your husband's with you. Yeah, pretty much. Rito just isn't meant for love, I guess. Those are scarce lately. 
Oh, you have to climb over a couple hills. Oh, no. I've been old to be working so. Folks should help each other in times like these. Not helping a little heavier. Huh? I don't know if he really is a good guy or if he's just saying that. Uh, nothing to sell and barely enough to eat ourselves. Yeah, there you go, Sky. Ah, uh, <laughs> Oh, heavens no. Well, that's not why we sell them. We just want other villages to enjoy the food. Yeah, I'm sure you do. I'm sure money has nothing to do with it. Uh, there's there's nothing good in any of these houses, so... There's no mass today. Uh, yeah, I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> I guess birds aren't very well versed in religion. Okay, let's talk to you. Geohound. Yep, I'm a geohound. <laughs> hey, I tell that story. Tell you a tale. A tale of a night. Flying Jim Phoenix. Alright, that's a cool name. Jim Phoenix. No one's rise and fall from the ground. Yeah, we'll find out what the granite cliffs are later. Uh, probably quite a bit later, actually. Talk to old granny. Wanna hear anything? Uh. Nah, we'll figure out all that. Oh, wait, actually, uh, this, this last one might be funny. I don't know. Okay, I don't want to waste too much time here, because we've got a scene coming up. There it is. It almost speaks of woman trouble, yet it also speaks of great love. Woman trouble and a great love for Ryu, no? Check again. <laughs> nice. Not me, not ever. That's pretty much the the scheme of things here. So, uh, ooh, uh, got turned around here. Okay, that's back to the end, so this way is to the church. Which is obviously where we're going. Yeah, um, once we get into the church, I'm not going to be talking, so you can hear uh, Elena singing, which is pretty good. It's a nice little song. Let's take a look. Sound pretty good to me, huh? Is that all? Who said that? Don't mind me. Continue. Were you listening to my singing? Obviously. Come on, if you're that tense, you won't be able to perform at all. Who yeah, are pretty you? much. I haven't seen you around. What are you doing here? Whoa, now. <laughs> well, it's a church. What am I doing here? You get suspicious of everybody that walks me. into a church. I hired you? I, I do not remember anything of the sort. Hmm. You look awfully suspicious. Leave right now, or I'll scream. <laughs> <laughs> Are you for real? Oh, wait a sec. I bet no one told you. Yeah, that seems to be the case. There's Carius. Carius is the, uh, something the, matter? the head priest of the church here. Or I guess just the priest. Uh, ah, there's not more than you one. You must be the Geo Hound, yes? That's We've me. Been waiting for you. A G Geo Hound? Hey, I'm Ryudo. This here's Sky. Quite just passing judgment on me already, huh? You're hiring. What? <laughs> Why are you being so rude? Elena, please excuse her. Allow me to apologize on her behalf. Elena, you must get ready to leave. Uh. Yes, Father. I'm very sorry for interfering. That's right, you should be. Please excuse me. Turn him back into that nice little church girl and go back into your room. Go to your room. Excuses in women are equally tired. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, this is not the place. May I ask you to wait at the inn? I should uh, yeah, shortly. sure, I guess. We don't really have much of a choice. He's not gonna speed things up for us, so uh, I guess we have to go wait at the end. 
so let's just uh, head straight back. There's one more kid I want to talk to, but I don't really have time to do that uh, right now. But I'll do that before we leave, trust me. It's pretty funny. He's not like important dialogue or anything, I just think it's really funny. Okay, so uh, I don't need to recover, but it's just kind of a habit to do so. So let's save our game here. And next time on Let's Play Grandia 2, we'll find out what the priest has to say and see if we take the job or not. So uh, I will see you guys then. Bye.